Alright everybody, we're going to do another little experiment here tonight with my nitrate tests. I've got both these vials prepped. They're ready for their second reagent. So we're going to mix that one for 10 or 15 seconds and then we're going to let it sit. I know I always say you should shake this, but I did just shake it vigorously. And did you see how that sort of got a little hung up there at the beginning? It was already starting to clog that quickly. So you really, really need to shake that second vial up before every test. Even if you've just stripped them into one vial and then you're going to drip them into a second vial, you really should shake it up again. I sort of got away with it there uh, any longer and it really would have uh, gotten hung up. So the reason we're doing this test is I did this the other day and I knew on the second part of the test you were supposed to uh, shake vigorously according to the instructions and you were supposed to do it for a certain amount of time and I thought you were supposed to do it for about 30 seconds and I said you only had to do it for about 15 or 20 and it turns out a lot of people suggested to me that you're supposed to do it for a minute according to the instructions and I probably could have just read the instructions and it would have told me but I decided that I'm going to just go ahead and do some testing here because because I wanted to test the nitrates in my brackish tank tonight anyway. So we're going to do two side by side. We're going to do one where we just rocked it back and forth gently for 10 or 15 seconds. And we're going to do one where we shook vigorously for, I'm guessing that was probably close to a minute uh, or something like that. And we're going to let them bloom side by side. And I'm going to bet we get exactly the same color because I've done this a million times. Um, way back in the day I tested by doing exactly this just to find out if you really did need to shake that thing vigorously for a minute or if like I said in my previous video you simply needed to make sure that stuff stayed in suspension for a good 15, 20, 30 seconds maybe if you really want to do it for a while but I mean you can see them blooming pretty much in real time uh, identical colors so this is my brackish tank uh, I've had it set up for a little while now, not too long. I did a water change a few weeks ago, uh, and then I did another water change tonight of about five gallons. So I haven't been doing much in the way of water changes, but I also have a really low bio load in that tank. It's a 40 gallon tank, and all it has is my one um, figure eight puffer who's smaller than a golf ball. He's not that big yet. He's about three inches total length. And then I've got a few little guppies and a couple endlers in that tank. And that's the entire bio load for a 40-gallon tank. And after, I'm going to say, three weeks since my last water change, uh, you can see we're getting up there. I'm expecting it to turn red. If it doesn't actually get completely red by the end of the five minutes, I'll be surprised. But it'll be pretty close. It'll be getting up to about time. Uh, to do another water change here pretty soon. The problem is I only have a 5 gallon reservoir and it's now a 40 gallon tank. That was fine when I had a 20 gallon tank because that's a 25 percent water change every time I did a water change. Um, now I'm doing about a 10 percent water change or less every time I do a water change and it's just not the same. I really either need to get myself a larger um, reservoir for my brackish water or I should get uh, or do more frequent water changes in order to make sure uh, we keep the nitrates down in his tank if that were a huge concern of mine, which it's really not. And that's another video we're going to do here uh, in the next few days. I'm going to get back to shooting a video about that. Uh, I did get a few questions and comments about my video uh, the other day where I shot about the nitrates and not having to worry too much about them as long as you keep them within reason. So I'll shoot a follow-up video out of that uh, here in the next few days whenever I get around to doing it. Uh, I'm not in overly hurry to get back to that one. I've already uh, shot my video about the nitrates and said my piece about that. I'll get around to it again. I shoot videos about nitrates from time to time. So hopefully within the next few days that will come out. I don't know if you heard that or not, but Squeaker is saying hello. So it doesn't really matter whether, you know, what we actually see on the card here. Let me find one of these cards. It's actually a nitrate card, just so we've got the right card. But, I mean, you can see them against the card side by side. They are absolutely identical colors. No difference whatsoever. You can use the card. You can use the background. You can hold them against the card. They are 
exactly the same colors. So you do not have to vigorously shake that vial after you have put your second reagent in. You do have to vigorously shake this vial every time you use it. You've got to get that little granular stuff in there broken up and evenly dispersed and suspended in the thick solution that's in there and that way when you drip it in you'll get an even measurement when you do your 10 drops you'll get the correct amount of that little granule material whatever it is I don't know but it clumps up and settles to the bottom very quickly so from one vial to the next shake it again vigorously uh, afterwards just mix it up for 15-20 seconds and as you can see you will get the exact same end result so there you go butter beans tanks not as bad as I thought it was we're still in the dark orange so I'm gonna put that around 30 parts per million on the nitrates in his tank and even though this is brackish water we're in the very low end brackish and the fresh water test kit uh, still works just the same all the colors match up and everything and you can simply use the freshwater card you don't have to use the saltwater uh, color scale the freshwater color scale works for that low end brackish so thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed I will do that video about nitrates coming up here in the next couple of days like I said I just got to get around to it that's one of them things I got to sort of be in the mood to do uh, and when I am I'll sit down and do it so if you're subscribed you won't miss that when it does come up so thanks for watching this one hope it was helpful I'll see you real soon in the next one